bet you the bullet that killed my dad fits it. And then Nimble will tell who bought it. You're all right. I'll get started for town and check up on everything as soon as my brakes are fixed. Thanks. Where'd you find it? A shark. But who's that upstairs? It's us, Rinch. Come on, Sheriff. Get that gun. They reach the grade. Those brakes are in fact. He'll kill himself in Coyote Pass. The shortcut. We can save him. The Thunder Riders Club. To the rescue. I'll start the signal. Now watch that. Boy, Mike. What's being spoke about? To the rescue! Double quick time! Look! It's a call to arms! To the rescue! Can't be anything left to Gene Autry now. We better get into town and make a report to the coroner. Her Imperial Majesty, the Queen. Did I receive your report correctly? Yes, Your Majesty. Do you mean to tell your queen that the secret police are unable to locate a person as prominent as the Lord High Chancellor of the realm? Messengers have searched all parts of the kingdom without success. Messengers? Didn't you try the television screen? No, Your Majesty. Nitwits? You have no more intelligence than the surface people. Council adjourned. We better slip back to the wreck and get that gun. All that's left of it after that explosion wouldn't do us any good. Yes, but how are you going to prove that you didn't kill Dad? I don't know. But right now we've got to get ready to make the next broadcast. If we don't make it by 2 o'clock, we'll lose Radio Ranch. But if you show up on the ranch, you'll be arrested. <laughs> don't worry about me. I'll be there. You rig up a remote control microphone in your laboratory. Right. As president of the Junior Thunder Riders Club, I ask you all to swear secrecy. Not to tell us all that Gene is coming to the ranch to broadcast. But he's a fugitive. Shouldn't we tell the sheriff? But we know he didn't kill Dad. How's he going to find the real murderer and prove his innocence if he's in jail? And besides, doesn't our charter say that we should help anyone that's in trouble? I guess that's right. Any more objections? No. no. All right, I'll raise your right hand and repeat after me. I, as a member of the Junior Thunder Riders Club... I, as a member of the Junior Thunder Riders Club... Promise to follow the creed of our organization and help Gene Autry, who's in trouble. Promise to follow the creed of our organization and help Gene Autry, who's in trouble. By not telling anyone that he's going to come back to Radio Ranch to make a secret broadcast. All that 
that's enough of that. Why don't you help me get ready for the broadcast? I wonder if Dean's going to be able to make this broadcast without getting caught. Sure. But what if they hear him up here? They wouldn't know where he's singing from. My laboratory's soundproof. Go on, get over there at the mic. I want to make a test. But won't they hear me down in the ranch? No, the remote control isn't hooked up yet. Go ahead. This is Betsy Baxter speaking. Testing for remote control. One, two, three... No, no good. It's the same interference we got last week. No. My direction finder is pointing straight down. I bet it's those signals coming from the center of the earth. You know, Betsy, I'll bet there are people that live underground, just like in the book I've been reading. Torpedo. We want to destroy your radio ranch before Queen Chica discovers us. We might just as well not broadcast at all. The contract specifically states that all is to sing in person. I don't know anything about the tale. My job is to get ready. Ready for what? Gene isn't here. Maybe he is. And... Maybe he isn't. I'm getting ready. Look at them. They still think Audra will get here in time to save the contract. We better start getting our equipment together. The sooner we find the underground civilization, the sooner we'll discover radium, and then we shall become rich. Get the horses ready. Find for me, Lord Argo. Yes, Your Majesty. Is that not better than living on the surface? Mechanical men doing all the labor? Sound. I want to hear them. You men are attached to the cemetery of the realm of the secret queen. Lord Argo must be found at once. Wait, wait! What? Are you satisfied this radium aerial torpedo will completely destroy Radio Ranch? Yes, Lord Arthur. And a hundred communities like it. Good. While the surface men are busy broadcasting, we'll blow them all to atoms and put an end to Radio Ranch once and for all. You see anything to Gene? Not yet. Let me look. Guess we'll have to start without Gene. Radio Ranch on the air. Introducing our cowboy quartet. Did you hear about old man Jonah? Got swallowed by a whale. Not a tail of a whale, but a whale of a tail. There's no need to worry anymore. No need to worry when you feel blue. Well, there ain't no need to worry anymore. Argo couldn't have left the Empire. Try the armament tower. Yes, Your Majesty. Yes, Your 
Lord Argo, your queen has commanded. You disobey. Explain. I can and I will, Your Majesty. Our people are restless. They are terror-stricken that Gene Autry and his guests at Radio Ranch may discover our underground world and plant with us the madness which consumes all persons on the surface. Permit me, I pray, to destroy them before it is too late. I alone will decide the method and time. Will you report to me immediately, or shall I send a robot to bring you in chains? I shall come, Your Majesty. When the servicemen discover the secret entrance to Murania, Queen Tika will regret she did not allow me to destroy your radio ranch with this torpedo. Are you ready? Go ahead! Come on, get going! Get on up there! Ah! Back up! If Gene doesn't get here pretty quick, the radio contract will be broken and we'll lose the ranch. You bet. As soon as the forecast finishes, I'll put you on the air. Oh, there ain't no need to worry anymore. Ladies and gentlemen of the radio audience, we regret to announce that Gene Autry will not... Greetings, folks. This is Gene Autry, and today I'm going to sing you a little song about my Uncle Henry. Uncle Henry... That's Autry's voice. He watched the mighty steamships as they were... You told me Arthur was dead. I suppose that's a ghost thing. I told you the sheriff for it. The seems to be slightly exaggerated. Where is the friend? He watched the boat land to see this brave was high and wide. A man with an outboard motor took over and they far arrived. He watched the army... See the fire... Oh! Oh, lady, hey, oh, lady, oh, lady... Uncle Henry, he's got to catch him. He murdered Tom Baxter. Where is he? He's out at the Mike's Ferry? He's here somewhere, and we've got to find him. He sets the alarm clock every night to wake him up at five. He hit the hay at 12 o'clock. More dead than alive. Oh, lady, He gallops down the bridle path as fast as he can go. Four heads of duck were clacking for casting a snow. The hookup wire leads to the barn. Roaring all the Yankee gathering. Done. Oh, man, he's found the remote control wire, and they're coming to the barn. I hope he finishes the song before they bust in. Oh, holy, hey, holy, oh, holy. And that, folks, completes today's broadcast from Radio Ranch. We gotta get out of here before they catch us. Young, we've got to take our equipment or we can't broadcast tomorrow. Get a battering ram, somebody. Okay. Hey, Gene, where's Gene? Gene's This is our club room. That's the way to the secret exit.
They've gone. They're taking their equipment. 